Hello and welcome. My name is Sunshine, the Project Manager, Sunshine Educational Resources. Welcome to our free online chemistry lessons for Nigerian senior secondary schools. If you've been following us on this channel, in the preceding lesson, we introduced you to chemistry by explaining it and also defining it. We also talked about career prospect tied to chemistry. In today's lesson, we will look at the adverse effect of chemistry. But before then, let's go through the specific objective. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to, one, mention three adverse effects of chemistry, two, explain scientific method. So if you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so. There is a subscription button below this video. Click on it and hit the notification button so that each time we release our video, you have instant access to them. And now let's talk about adverse effect of chemistry. There is no doubt that chemistry has come to improve our lives in diverse ways, but unfortunately, it came with some adverse effect. Take for example, corrosion of iron. Corrosion of iron can also be called rusting and it requires the presence of water and oxygen. Rusting can also be regarded as a slow deterioration of iron to iron 3 oxide. This iron oxide is permeable to both air and water and cannot pro protect the iron from further corrosion. The following shows the reacting equation. Rusting can be prevented by four methods. One, application of protective coating. Two, application of sacrificial metal. Three, alloying. And four, cathodic protection. And now let's talk about pollution. One of the main disadvantages of chemical industries is the pollution of our environment by chemical waste from factories and oil refineries and radioactive waste from nuclear plant. Oil spillage, exhaust from motor vehicles, pesticide, fertilizers and acid rain have made our environment unclean and endangered plants and animals. Human health is also being threatened by environmental pollution. Presently, chemists are trying to come up with a fuel that will reduce air pollution problem. They are also modifying chemical processes to recycle chemical waste or change them to harmless product which can be safely discharged into the environment. Drug abuse. Drugs like heroin, cocaine and morphine are addictive although many of these drugs are not used in medical treatment. Unscrupulous people produce and sell them at huge profit. Drug addiction is a major problem in our society especially among the young people. Many countries have imposed strict laws to control pollution and drug abuse. However, the most effective control measure is education. We must use what we have learned to improve our life and help to improve these abuses. And now let's look at scientific method. Our world is made up of matter. We study chemistry to acquire knowledge about matter. We perform experiments and learn to observe, record and make intelligent inferences. Studied chemistry gives us training in the scientific method. This knowledge and training will help us to become scientists in the field of chemistry. Such scientists are known as chemists. Over the years, chemists as well as all other fields of science has developed true series of discoveries. How do scientists make these discoveries? Scientists are very alert and inquisitive. They use their senses to observe what is happening around them. From a given set of observations, they see a certain pattern. These often lead to a problem which they try to solve. They put forward a reasonable explanation or hypothesis and carry out appropriate experiment to test it. Then they carefully record the observations and the result of the experiment. If the experiments support their hypothesis, they carry out further investigation. They discuss the result of their hypothesis with other scientists in the field so that the hypothesis can be further tested. When a hypothesis has been tested 
and found to be correct within the limit of available evidence, it becomes a theory. A scientific law or principle is established only after the theory has been extensively tested and proven true without any exception. If the experiment gives negative results, then the scientist goes back to his hypothesis and either modifies it or put it forward in a new hypothesis. This way of studying a problem is known as scientific method. It is the very foundation of all scientific research. Today we've been able to look at the adverse effect of chemistry and we've also looked at scientific method. We've come to the end of today's lesson. We believe you have gained value from it. In the next lesson, we shall be treating chemical industries and their importance to the individual and to the nation. Until then, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube videos, please do so, so that you can have instant access to our videos. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you.